Today we are at the Get On Adventure Fest in Southern California at the Rawhide facility. And today we're riding the Aprilia Toreg 660. Super excited to take this for a ride. It's just been in the States only a couple weeks. But that's what we're doing today. About to ride the Aprilia Toreg and it looks awesome. Man, the seat is plush. And I'm at this rawhide facility with the Ravzilla Get On Adventure Fest. And. And yeah, we're on the Torig again. Because I tried doing it earlier. And I shit the bed on the, on the video, so. Feels good, good balance. It's got an excellent seat on it. And it's got a low seat height. It's like less than 34, so. Super windy out here. It looks like there's weather coming. Suspension's pretty good on it. It's got good power. It's like 80 horse, six, 660 engine with 80 horsepower. I forgot the torque. It feels pretty good. The riding position's pretty good. It, the bars are kind of high though, so like when you stand, it's like the bars are higher than what I'm used to. It's got go though, baby. Super windy. I think it weighs 412 pounds is what they're saying. I'll have to check those numbers, but that's pretty sweet. It's a parallel twin, 660 cc's at 412 pounds. It's got almost a five gallon gas tank on it. It's like, come on. It's pretty nice. Feels pretty good. It's a little, I forget, it's almost a five gallon gas tank. Like 4.7, I think. It's like 18 liters. It's just pretty damn good. It feels good. I like the pep in it. We're in off road mode right now, and I got the traction control down to one, and it feels pretty good. You can feel it cutting in. I don't know. My, I'm super windy, so I don't know how it sounds. Let her drink. got some dive on the front it's got Brembo brakes on it so it's it's pretty nice the suspension doesn't feel bad when you stand up though it's got pretty tall risers on it so it does feel like it's taller than what I'm used to as the bars are I don't feel like I'm leaning over, putting weight on the front end at all. Get after it a little bit. It's pretty nice. It doesn't feel top heavy. I don't know why, it just doesn't. The, su the suspension feels pretty good. I don't know if you can hear the sound of it. It sounds pretty cool. It's a pretty cool bike. It'd be a lot of fun. Because it's it's lighter. It's like a lighter twin cylinder parallel twin. It's like pretty cool. I think it's impressive that it's a parallel twin at like 412 pounds. That's pretty good. So he just switched to Explorer so we can open this bad boy up. Cause we about to open it up. It's pretty nice though. You can see here the risers are tall. I'm, I'm letting her drink. I can't win protection. It goes 
over my head. There's not a lot of buffeting on it. power. I don't know it's got as much as my 790, but it's pretty damn close. Oh, he's going to take us for some more. All right. Now, this bike is pretty cool. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. I think the biggest thing for me is the size. It's slightly, it's a little smaller bike for smaller people like myself. And I could see how somebody bigger, 6'4", taller person, would feel kind of cramped on this bike. Because this bike is like a mini Africa Twin or something, right? It's just a smaller version, but it's still a parallel twin, and I think that's pretty cool. It's fun to ride. It has spirit. It feels good. It feels balanced. It doesn't feel heavy. It's got a good suspension on it. Like, it's a pretty nice package. My only problem is they're like 12.9 something, 12,000, almost $13,000. And that's basically like a thousand dollars less than like a KTM 890. It does have spirit. And it feels pretty good. And, and like the suspension seems pretty good. I think it's a cool bike and it's a smaller bike. And it's a great bike for smaller people. But I don't know if it's I like think. KTM 890. It does have some features like, you know, different modes and traction control and stuff like that. But I just don't know that it's worth almost the same price as a KTM A90. I guess for some people who are just kind of small or shorter and don't want all the weight, it's, I guess it's up there, it's ideal, but. I like it, it's pretty nice. It's like, it's lighter, it's not as tall. It still has like nine inches of clearance, which is pretty damn good. And for like a parallel twin, it's good. And the wind protection was really good. I liked it, it feels, good i don't get any buffeting or anything it's kind of a small screen and it's way forward but it's straight up and down and it does a good job managing the wind creating a nice burble around me so we went in explorer mode and it opens it up but the tracks it's different traction control look at the size of that joshua tree back here at the get on adventure fest revzilla and raw high facility You can hear it cutting in and out. A lot of people, this is day one, a lot of people packing it in. My priority was to ride this thing. Pete? Yeah, it was my first priority was to ride this baby. And I'm happy. A lot of fun. You hear the fan on. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. The Torek 660 Aprilia. I really like it, man. It's pretty fun to ride, yeah. right? Like it's fun. Whether it's street or dirt. Yeah, it's fun. It's pretty cool. And it doesn't feel heavy at all. It doesn't feel top heavy. It doesn't. I enjoy it. Hope you like my video, my test ride at the Tarig Aprilia 660. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I got adventure, get on adventure fest stuff all, all weekend long, so. Torek 660, I appreciate you. See you guys.